Artist Susie Freelingheisen painted glass and bottle in the tradition of still life painting, depicting commonplace objects, but in a style referred to as geometric abstraction, transforming objects such as the glass, bottle, and table seen here into simplified, flattened shapes. Do you see them? Glass and bottle demonstrates core ideas of cubism, a style that depicts three-dimensional objects from multiple angles at the same time, allowing you, the viewer, to take an active role in interpreting what you see. Look closely at the bottle. Is that dark shape to the left an extension of the label or a shadow behind the bottle? To the right, yet another shadow? Freelingheisen was known for using collage, incorporating everyday materials such as cardboard and sheet music into her paintings. That cardboard, it's the top layer of the painting, but is it in the foreground or background? How close or how far apart do you think each of these objects are from one another? Freelingheisen rejected the idea that each of the objects in the painting needed to represent something specific. Instead of depicting objects in a logical space, she created a dynamic relationship between forms, allowing each viewer's unique point of view to guide their interpretation of the space depicted in the painting. How might your experiences shape your point of view? How might they differ from those of the artist? Over the course of her life, Freelingheisen held dual passions for art and music. She collected art, including the work of artists Pablo Picasso, Georges Braque, and Juan Gris. While retaining a strong commitment to painting, Freelingheisen additionally enjoyed success as a soprano for the New York City Opera. She once compared these interests by saying, in painting, you're concerned with the arrangement of forms. On stage, which is your frame, you're concerned with arranging yourself. It's like a picture, only, of course, you're moving. Glass and Bottle, painted in 1948 by Susie Freelingheisen, is in the collection of Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas.